Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the process of my art journaling and uh, we will talk about the reasons why I started art journaling in the first place. Why should anyone start art journaling? As you can see, I have this catalog which I don't know where exactly I got from, but I'm going to use this. Yes, recycle guys. I mean, we should always think before we throw things away, see if there is a way to repurpose them. So today I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this catalog for our journaling and yeah. I am going to paste two papers together so the paper has strength and I'm going to apply this primer onto the paper before creating something. So first of all, to all the people who think you cannot start art journaling because you don't have an art background, well, you don't have to be an artist to start art journaling. The beauty of art journaling is that there are no rules. You can literally do anything you like in it. You can fill it with anything you want. That's why every art journal is unique. If you have seen my art journal flip through videos in the past or my Instagram post for that matter, you might have observed that I don't usually get crafty with my art journaling. It mostly includes a very elaborate piece of art with some quotes and poetries around it. I kind of limited myself with resources, but today I wanted to take a step ahead and explore more ways to create art. Art journaling has helped me immensely to develop my skills as an artist and express my thoughts. Part of the reason why I became regular at this. I love this because it's a way to document um, my experiences and life around me. I can always come back later and see what inspired or affected me at that particular moment. It's like a time capsule. My favorite thing about art journaling is that it lets you be free. It has no boundaries. You don't have to be afraid to make any mistakes in your journal. It will not judge you. This process helps you dive deep into yourself, your emotions and thoughts in a much more creative way. Sometimes you might not like what you have created, but you learn as you go. And when you look back, it reminds you that you have grown from there. As a result, you will be more confident with every new page you create. Now, imagine the feeling of freedom. Imagine endless possibilities to express your inner voice with no judgments and boundaries. Well, art journaling makes that possible. I have been struggling a lot lately with the fear of failure and the feeling that I have not achieved much in life. Through this artwork, I just wanted to tell myself that it's alright. Everything blooms in its own time. I also found this beautiful and very inspiring poetry, The Rose That Blooms in the Night by Ali Michelle. And I wrote that down as well. So it goes like this. Have you heard the story of the rose that bloomed in the night? Without the sun's presence, she grew from her own light. She did not yearn for his warmth on her petals, for she knew she held the power to radiate light from within. Though she had strong thorns, her heart was always open, for those with an open heart can never be broken. Ali Michelle See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Art journaling lets you be whoever you want to be. You paint, you write, you paste images. It is still a fulfilling and creative process. And every page has its own unique story to tell. So what are you waiting for? Grab your journal right now and start creating. 
that's all from my side i hope you like this video and i hope you like the process and um, let me know if you want me to do a series of this since i have already started it i would like to finish this as well and i'll see you in my next video bye